Thank you for joining me in my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to take you through a quick little workshop on how to make your own wraps. For this recipe, you're gonna need 250 grams of flour, you'll need a tablespoon of olive oil and half a tablespoon of salt. You're also gonna need a cup of hot water. Some utensils that you'll need are a rolling pin, a spatula, a knife, and some flour for dusting. To start off with, we're gonna create a little well in our flour. Then to that, we're gonna add all of our ingredients. So our olive oil, in goes our salt, and our hot water. Give this a really good mix around using your spatula, because remembering it is hot, until it all starts to come together and form a dough. Once you can kind of see that it's all combining, sprinkle your bench with flour and then tip out your dough. The next thing you'll need to do is knead it. And what that means is using the flat part of your hand, so your palm, to move the dough around and squish it together until it doesn't feel sticky anymore. You might need to add a little bit of flour as you go so that it doesn't stick to your hands. Okay, once it's all combined together and it doesn't feel sticky anymore, roll it out into a big, long sausage. And then what we're gonna do is take our sharp knife and cut into little segments. We're gonna cut the segments in half again so that we end up with about eight individual pieces. These pieces are gonna form our wrap. So what we need to do is again, dust our bench with a little bit of flour and then we're gonna roll our dough into a ball. This is a fun part because it's all squishy. Flatten it out a little bit on the inside of your palm so it makes a nice little disc and then pop it onto the bench. What you'll need to do is put a little bit of flour on your rolling pin so that it's well dusted as well and your wrap doesn't stick to it. And then all we need to do is roll it out nice and flat if you keep turning it while you roll it, you'll end up with a nice even circle. So roll it and then spin and roll it again. You'll end up with a nice flat disc. Then once that's done, we can move over to the frying pan, heat the frying pan up and cook them. So we're gonna heat our pan up nice and hot. We don't need any oil or anything in there. Just make sure it's a nice non-stick pan and then in goes our flatbread. You're gonna watch and wait until you start to see some air bubbles form in the bread. And then once you see that, give it a flip over and that's all we need to do, she'll be done. So once they're finished cooking, they're all browned, finished, ready to wrap, good to eat. Now that we've finished our wraps, it is time to fill them. Today I'm gonna to choose my favorite, which is pesto, carrot, and some homegrown spinach. So in goes a spoonful of my pesto, sprinkled with some delicious carrot, and then topped with a spinach leaf. It's ready to roll up, pop in my lunch, or eat as a snack.